everyone, and welcome to Nakusa in week number two of this high school football season. Another new face in Fades Holland Field today. Byron, Illinois comes to town. They'll take on the papermakers in non-conference football action. Nakusa spreads things out this time. Two receivers split wide right. Peckham has the football. He's got a first down. He's heading to the end zone. Touchdown, Nakusa. So the papermakers show a new formation for the first time in this ball game, and it pays off well as Aaron Peckham takes it in from nine yards out. Nakusa on the board. They lead six to nothing. Fluids, of course, this week for Nakusa players, or have been all week. Good stretching also, and uh, magnesium. Try to counteract those cramps. Owen in trouble, got away. Down the field, got a man, that's Cody Schmidt at the 30. Cody turns on the Jets. He will score, touchdown, Nakusa. 60 yards, Owen Linsmeyer to Cody Schmidt. And with four minutes to play here in the second quarter, Nakusa now on top, 13 to nothing. Look at the run by Merritt. Bowls over a tackler into the end zone. Brett Merritt, 16 yards. Touchdown number three for the Papermakers. They now lead 20 to nothing with 2.28 to play here in the opening period. What a run that time by Merritt. Broke a tackle to get through the front line and then just ran over number 31, Connor Banchez and stepped into the end zone. Senior Brad Savage nails his third extra point in the quarter. And Akusa in control. 2.28 to play, first quarter. It's now Akusa 21. And Byron down number seven for Akusa. Ball's at the 19 quickly to the line of scrimmage. Owen is going to throw it. Lots of time, lots of room on this right side if he wants to run. Finds Cody Schmidt instead. Touchdown, Nakusa. Cody Schmidt for the touchdown. All in second touchdown strike of the day. Schmidt's second catch of the afternoon. Nakusa now on top 27 to nothing with 8.24 to play here in the first half. So following the Nakusa timeout, Byron first and 10 from the Nakusa 35. Second man through, big hole. A very big hole for Austin Carlson. He goes the distance. Austin Carlson with a 35. 35 yards. For Byron. Straight up the middle for Carlson and Byron on the board. 7.23 to play here in the first, make that second quarter. 2.10 to play here in the quarter and a half. Byron with two timeouts, I believe. Yep, the scoreboard says two timeouts remain for Byron. Right now, they're first and goal from the nine. Nakusa needs to stiffen defensively. They don't. Tyler Huddleston, Tyler Huddleston. roars his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Byron. Boy, this Nakusa defense has stiffened a bit in the second half. Haven't given up a score. And now coming up with some big third and fourth down plays. Nakusa should come out of this with pretty good field position. Colton Kokoka waits for the punt back at the 40. Bad snap. And the punter, Daniel Falconer, brought down in the end zone by Aaron Peckham. A safety. And Nakusa puts two more points on the board. Owen oh, straight ahead keeps it. And he's got a first down, and that's going to do it. So Owen reads the defense nicely there, picks up about five or six when he needed two. Clock has started. We're down to 10 seconds. And that clock is going to continue to run down as this ball game is history. Ladies, that's the end of the game. Santa Cusa and Byron, Illinois. Match up for the second time in the history of these two schools. Thanks for coming. And now it's one game apiece as Nakusa gets a little revenge on last year's loss. They're a 30 to 14 winner tonight or this afternoon over Byron. Nakusa now 2-0 on the season. 
Of course, both of those games being non-conference games, Byron is now 0-1 on the football season.